recently we've had a number of um, requests uh, to create a couple of video tutorials on how to create specific effects for our videos. Uh, now this, these tutorials consist of a screen recording where we actually show you precisely how to create these effects. So um, I think we'll give it a go. Right, my name's Sebastian. Welcome to Adobe After Effects. Right, let's get started. Here we are. Right, this is a very popular type of effect. It is called... Oh, sorry, wait a minute. Some people like to call it split screening. But that sounds shit. The actual term is masking. Now, the effect consists of creating the illusion just happened. It's creating the illusion that there are lots of people in one shot. Now, this does look quite difficult, but really it's not. But you are going to be in a big, big, big pickle if you haven't got the right software to begin with. Right. So, don't even try trying to film something like this unless you've got a program that is that is listed in the description. And by the way, if there's a program that you know that can do this that's not in the description, well, get lost. Here we are. Here's some of the raw footage. Raw footage is raw. So here we go. To start this shot, we capture a base plate. But practically, how does the shot come together? So I'm gonna show you right now. Now, we take a tripod, which happens to be under a green piece of cloth. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the illusion that there's a clone of myself in uh, each of these chairs. So, I'm going to position the tripod so it's facing the chairs. This is, this is a good idea, otherwise if you face it in um, a different direction, then you're not going to see the chairs. We're going to point um, the camera, which isn't here, at the chairs and we're going to hit record once we framed it right and we're going to sit on one chair and smile then we'll repeat this on the second chair like so so then we have two shots now what i'm going to do just in case there's a problem after is going to capture a base plate uh, just so we can patch things up, so I'm just going to leave this imaginary camera to film the area, just to make sure. This is really important when you're trying to compile together a really complicated shot that Sebastian is trying to deal with at the moment. Base plates are normally empty of subjects, meaning that there's no one in the bloody shot. Now, this is to make sure we can patch up things afterwards. So, in this case, there are actors in the base plate. Well, that's not right! That's not right! No, I'm only joking. It doesn't matter. We did this to speed things up. If you put actors in the base plate, then oh, less work in After Effects later. So, here we go. We then take some extra shots of uh, actors elsewhere in uh, this area. As you can see, over here, we've all melted. We're keeping the tripod completely stationary here and we're just adding actors along this area as you can see here. And again, it's all the same shot. The trampoline's moved. So all we have to do to add a second section of dudes to this shot is we have to mask them out. Now if I remask the shot, getting rid of the original mask that I'd already done, and I have to do it again. Taking the masking tool, we're going to carefully cut out around the edges, giving enough room between the other actors that we imagine is around here somewhere. We do not, we do not want to cross the line like so. Otherwise, it's going to look pretty bad. We go back to the composition we can see we've already cut off the legs of the previous previous um 
So we're just going to bring it back here. And uh, as you can see here, there is a horrible, horrible cut straight through the footage. This is partly because we took so long to do each shot that it actually got dark. So as you can see, each shot gets darker. So to fix this, we're just going to feather the mask. Now, here we go. We're going to take the mask feather. We're going to hit F, which brings up the mask feather. So we're going to bring that up like so. And there we are. We sold the... Uh, excuse me. There, we pretty much sold the effect there. So, as you can see, we just do this, we repeat the same process throughout the, oh, sh oh God. Now this is what you want to avoid. I hope no one noticed that. He's looking at me, isn't he? I don't know if anyone noticed, but this guy here is actually pissing. So, that's basically it. No, it's not. Shut up. There's still more. Here, what I've done in After Effects has made things uh, life a bit easier for myself here. So, I have parented each layer together. So, this one is parented to the base layer and so on. So, I can move it. And the entire thing will move um, correctly. <coughs> See, if I don't have parented, we get a bit of a... Jiggle. So, that pretty much concludes how to achieve a shot like this in After Effects. Now, I hope this has been useful, but now I'm going to shoot you straight upstairs to Adam, who's going to take over on Sony Vegas. Well, unfortunately, I can't seem to get the screen recording program to work on here, so I am going to just have to record the screen with the camera. Right, so here we are in Sony Vegas. Um, I'm currently editing an extremely old project, which was Talk on Tally Ho. Um, and as you can see, this is quite a large project and took a very long time. Uh, <laughs> Love that. And this green, green filter. Um, so as you can see, I've just got rid of the green filter on this piece of footage here. And that's the original footage there. And you can see here that this is separate footage to the rest of it. Now, how does this happen? Well, uh, as you can see at the bottom here, just here, quickly whiz around. We've got a mask. Now, if we click on this mask here, we will see that uh, it brings up this. And you see that I've cut around the edges here. Uh, this is extremely similar to After Effects. It is a masking tool. This only comes with Sony Vegas Pro version, not the premium versions, unfortunately. Now, with the feathering, which in the last video you saw was actually really important. And this, it's not too much of a problem because we can see the edges of the building really do really uh, uh, disguise um, uh, the mask there. So if you are having problems with a sharp mask edge and you don't have room to feather it, then you can just uh, find a very sharp edge. How do we feather it on here? Here we go. We're going to move over to the feather type over here. We have a couple of options. Uh, I normally feather type both and I basic and you basically I haven't used this far. Pull it out like this, and as you can see, it's feathering it. So it still works in the same way. In this case, uh, it works quite well. Um, it's not necessary, like I said, but um, it still is a way of doing it. In so, when you're using Sony Vegas and you knock the tripod in the middle of this, you you don't stand a chance at getting this shot right have to ensure that your tripod is stable. Not too much of a problem in After Effects um, because you can piece plates together and stabilize shots quite easily in After Effects. I say it's easy but it isn't. <laughs> so, so again this is the same principle as After Effects. We've got layers of video 
and we're masking each layer, cutting it out. If you're wondering how to get to the mask section, there is a, um, a little event pan and crop symbol next to your video. Click on that and that will bring up your pan and cropping and masking section. Please check out other videos on uh, the channel that are aimed at After Effects, do motion tracking and muzzle flares, that kind of thing. They were done a while back. Um, please leave some comments as to what kind of tutorials you'd like to have. Obviously, I can't really give tutorials on software that I don't have. Um, but if you aim it at Sony Vegas, at any of the Adobe products, um, Pinnacle as well. I have an old Pinnacle program. I don't know if it, if it, I don't know if it actually exists. Have a nice day. I won't.